Hello and welcome along people to another one of my little videos and welcome to round four of the FSRA F2 Sidecar Championship at Cadwell Park. Join us in the holding area as all the teams go out to form up on the grid for the start of race one. We are on board with Peter Fans and Jevon Wormsley. Unfortunately, things didn't go to plan for Peter and Jevon, as you're about to find out. So Peter and Jevon made a fantastic start with the Birchels in hot pursuit. Pete and Jevon could not afford to hang about. They're pushing really, really hard from the off. Coming into the bottom of the mountain on lap one, a part malfunctioned on their outfit and, well... And so to the restart of race one, we're now on board with Brian Alario and Ollie Lice. Ollie jumped on board instead of Brian's normal passenger. Arlo Brown had been sick pretty much all weekend, so um, Ollie jumped on at a moment's notice. Here we go. Start of lap two for Brian and Ollie, they're trying to catch Chris Schofield. Unfortunately, Michael Jackson and Jacob Roberts had other ideas. Lots and lots of action up and down the field. And the action does not get any closer than this. Ooh, cigarette paper, my goodness, really? Chris Schofield on the park straight. Brian is obviously feeling a little bit racy. Uh, unfortunately for Chris Schofield, he was having a lot of technical issues and was later to retire. At the front, the Birchall brothers were in dominant form, followed by the Crow brothers, John Holden, the Ramsons, Gibson and Moore is a wild card, Sean Hegarty, Atkinson and Middleton, Harrison and Winkle, Jackson and Roberts, Schofield and Colebrook, and Larry and Lice. And sorry I missed all the other guys. Tom and Thomas Key! Way sorry, I've made that mistake twice today already. 
Coming up, please, guys, in second place, Brian Laria and Oliver Lace. Could you win us, Robert Atkinson and Mark Middleton? Second, John Holden, Jake Lauber. But your winners are the ever popular Ben and Tom Birchall. So as they get their final photographs taken, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the band coming on stage very shortly. We've got beer, we've got a band, we've got a great night. Don't have too much because we've also got Welcome along to day two and race two of the FSRA F2 British Sidecar Championship. The good news is Peter Founds and Jevon Wormsley were able to repair the issue they had from day previous and they were fit enough to be able to make the grid for race two. Unfortunately, I arrived at the circuit late and only had one camera, so no on-bike footage from this race. Josh Smith having a day off from passenger duties, doing pit boards instead. Tony Baker and Leon Fitzpatrick retiring from the race. They say every pitcher tells a story. I think someone's off a Christmas card list. Well, Ben and Tom Burchill were in dominant form again. But the story for me was Peter Founds and Jevon Wormsley from virtually the back of the grid to come P2. Round of applause indeed. Well done, guys. Of the quails, number 60, quail brothers, up you come. You know, brother? Up on the podium, please. In the second, uh, are the curry, Miss Curry and Sharp are second. What's up? And first in the cup, Rob Atkinson, Mark Middleton. <laughs> Third place, John Holden, John Holden and Jake Lava. In second place, Fowles and Wormsley. Up you come, please. There we come. And the winners this time, Ben and Tom Birchall. Ladies and gentlemen, the F2 Supers on race one today. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll do it all again later just to make sure that no one's cheating and everything is legal and above board some of the guys were randomly chosen after the race to uh, put their bike onto the dyno uh, Robert Atkinson, Mark Middleton here I think Michael Jackson, Jacob Roberts there they are uh, and also my old pal uh, Peter Founds and Jevon Wormsley uh, also had to put their outfit onto the dyno as this is Cadwell Park and this is the sidecar revival that means taxi rides and yes that is Brian Alaria with my wife does anybody recognize the driver of sidecar number five
and so to the start of race three and the final race of the day. Lots of fairing bashing going on here. There's a Ramsons just getting squeezed on the left hand side. Sean Hegarty oop, cuts their nose off. Oh, and he's going to squeeze through on the right hand side of the Crows. Pete can't quite make it through. And the Crow brothers return the favour going into Park. Followed swiftly by Pete and Jevin. Peter Fowns and Jevin Wormsley are desperate at this point to try and get past the Crow Brothers. Out of the gooseneck, down towards Mansfield. Maybe this time, yep, there you go. They make it stick this time. So after leading for some time, the inevitable, I guess, happened. Coming into the bottom of the mountain section, the Bertel brothers came through to take the lead. race three. Nothing left to do now except go to the podium. It's been a fantastic weekend's racing. Lots of thrills and spills. Thankfully everybody went home safely. More action soon from Croft. I hope you've enjoyed the event. Uh, we're just going to do uh, the, we've got a number of presentations as you see on the table here, uh, including the Steve Norbury trophy and some special trophies from uh, one of the uh, meeting sponsors, Bill Barraclough, for uh, best performances this weekend. Uh, but we'll deal with uh, the cup competition first uh, on this race. Um, in third place, Craig Curry and uh, Justin Sharp. Second place, Brian Ilaria and Arlo Brown. And the leader of the cup competition, Robert Atkinson and Mark Middleton. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the FSRA Cup competition for race two, British Sidecar, British F2 Sidecars. Second was Pete Pounds and Kevin Warnsley. And the winners again, Ben and Tom Bershaw. This is the Steve Norbury Trophy. Now this is awarded uh, to the highest point scoring uh, team over this weekend's uh, three races, as long as you're registered uh, in the British F2 Championship. And it's uh, presented by, uh, you're now called Marie Kilduff, but you are Marie Norbury, aren't you? See? A round of applause. It was quite tight, this one, wasn't it? It was quite tight. 
Uh, but the winners are John Holden and Jake Lowther. <laughs> Top step, please, boys. Top step. <laughs> Raffle winners. I know you're all um, on edge of your seats. Oh, you're all standing up. Um, and they are Steve Ramsden and Chris Schofield. Come forward. If you've liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't, please feel free to leave a thumbs down. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to ding dong the notification bell and that way you will never ever ever miss another episode here on the Mad Leprechaun. Until next time people, take care of yourself. Bye bye.